Hey guys, this is an extremely fast video showing you how to update your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch uh, to iOS 8. So basically it's the same type of deal with everything from your iPad, Retina Display to Mini and uh, iPhone 5S to 5 or 4S, same deal, okay? Uh, basically you have to go into Settings, under Settings, okay, from your phone, if you don't find the icon right away right there, which should be there, you can just search for it, just type in Settings you'll see settings. Once you open it up, okay, scroll down. Uh, before we do the actual update, go to iCloud and on iCloud, what you guys want to do is back up your phone, okay? So at this moment, just type, just uh, down here, it says backup now, just uh, do your backup, okay? That's just in case. Also, I re do recommend doing a backup using iTunes, but this is a video showing you mainly how to do um, this over just your iPhone, okay? So if you do that uh, backup, it's gonna be our iCloud from your phone, and that's it. Uh, next, you're gonna go into general. In general, okay, I'm gonna go back again just so you guys see. All you have to do is scroll down, there's general. Under general, we have software update. We have to wait for it, okay? And you can just tap here, it says install, okay? Download and install. Now you can do this, like I said, connect to iTunes or straight from your phone. So we're going to do it straight from the phone itself. So just click there. Just click on agree. And it's going to start downloading. Okay. Now, this all depends. It may take a long time, it may not. Now the file itself, as you can see, it's 957 megabytes, which is pretty much a gig. Okay. So you do need a gig. Um, some people may not have a gig option right now. That means you have to delete a few videos or photos from your phone. That's also the reason why I told you guys to back up your phone before doing this. Now, it's gonna take around 30 minutes to an hour to do the whole process of updating your phone, but this is how you do it. Um, just leave it plugged in. You have to have Wi-Fi connection in order to do this since it takes pretty long while to do this um, so just leave it hooked up make sure that it's a hundred percent battery and also make sure that you are on a Wi-Fi network not using your data plan plus um, rarely this will let you actually do it from your data plan okay if your iPhone goes to sleep like you went right now and turned off the screen it's okay you don't have to have it on like I have it on right now okay I'm only having this on just so you guys can see um, what the process is like. Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys through the whole process and we're gonna see how it goes. But it's pretty basic and pretty easy. So that's it for now and we're just gonna wait a little bit till it actually goes for it. Okay, so after a while you're gonna get a message saying that uh, it's gonna restart your iPhone, okay? So make sure just to turn it back on and uh, you're gonna see that message that it's gonna restart and um, just install now. So if you don't click on that and just open your iPhone, you can go back in and just uh, type in here, well, actually tap right here, it says install now, so just tap on that, and it's gonna restart, okay? I'll make sure to put agree on here at the bottom, it's gonna verify update, and then you might see this go black, okay? So it's pretty basic, like I said, all you have to do is go through all the whole steps, don't just let it lie there, um, do check up on your iPhone every 20, 15, 20 minutes, check up on it and see what's the next step on it, okay? Um, to get to this step, once it's downloaded and it's gonna install, it uh, did take 30 minutes, okay? Like I said, the whole process might take anywhere from 30 to an hour. Okay, so right now the iPhone's restarting and we'll get back to this in just a second. Okay guys, so what you're gonna see on your iPhone is this, actually. We're just gonna swipe through I still have it hooked up to my computer and it says update complete so we just tap on continue okay you want to enable services of course so you can use your GPS and so on here you're gonna put your Apple ID so we're just gonna get okay your next step is just to accept this so you're just gonna tap on agree you're gonna put agree again and it's gonna update your iCloud settings one thing that I do have to say, do not update, okay, to the i iCloud Drive. Just because it's not working 100%, it 
and also because if you don't have your Mac up to the latest version, you're gonna get pretty screwed there. So, go on the way. So here you can see a lot of information. Um, I'm gonna just go next, okay? Okay, you don't want to upgrade to iCloud Drive at this moment, so you're gonna put not now. Are you sure you don't want to? Of course you don't want to, not just yet. Okay, now you can create your passcode or you don't. So I'm not gonna go to that right now because I don't want to. Um, continue, get started. And here we go, your iPhone is up to date. And that's the whole thing, that's the whole process. On your 